predecessor and successor auditors. Let's talk about this concept. Well, guess what? The year you're auditing is not the only year that the company is operated. And as such, there will be auditors after you. There will be auditors before you. Maybe you were the auditor before yourself, or you know, you'll continue to audit the client. Before accepting an engagement to compile or review the financial statements of a non-issuer, the successor auditor, so meaning you, right? If this is your year, if there was an auditor before you, you should make specific and reasonable inquiries of the auditor before you, the auditor of last year. Now, if that was your own firm, then you don't really need to do that. But if it was a different firm, you should do this regarding matters that will assist the successor auditor, which is you, in determining whether to accept the engagement. Matters subject to inquiry should include the following points. Information that might bear on the integrity of management. Well, what was the reason for the change in auditing firms? Did the firm who audited them last year drop it because management was too fraudulent? You would want, you'd want to know that if you were the uh, uh, new auditor, right? You want to ask them about that. That's a reasonable request. If you're the new construction company for Right, this company. If you do construction and someone hires you to build another building, but they have multiple buildings before you, you should probably ask the prior construction company, "Hey, why are they not working with you anymore?" Now, it might just be you know, something as simple as, "Oh, we don't have time to work with them." But if uh, there were disputes between the prior situation, the prior business relationship, you want to know that. You want to also ask about any disagreements with management as to accounting principles, auditing procedures, or other similarly significant matters. You want to ask them, hey, did you run into any issues with management? Communications to those charged with governance regarding fraud and illegal acts by the clients. Really, the main uh, common denominator with all of these is, was there anything icky about the, uh, the, the client that you want to avoid? It's kind of like asking for uh, you know, some social proof from the, the person who came before you. Hey, uh, you know, it's like, I'll say it's like uh, asking uh, your significant other's ex, hey, well, why would you end up breaking up with the uh, person I'm dating now? <laughs> That's just kind of my take on it. Uh, you want to ask about communications to those charged with governance, right? Fraud and illegal acts. You want to ask about communications to management and those charged with governance regarding significant deficiencies and material weaknesses in internal control. Now, again, like I said, the common denominator here is just, are there any issues? But these, this is kind of a checklist you should do. So like these items are items specifically you should do. And lastly, the predecessor auditor's understanding as to the reasons for the change of auditors. A lot of times it really is just, not they don't have the expertise to do it anymore or they don't want to do it anymore they're changing it up because they're getting maybe into healthcare audits instead of manufacturing audits there can be many legitimate reasons so it's not always it's not always a bad thing you know or maybe uh, you and your ex broke up because you just were not compatible and it was totally amicable and you're still friends totally fine hey there are you ready to not only pass your cpa exams but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying i know it seems impossible right especially to enjoy the material We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing, because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence, knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.